Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. India is taking steps to become self-reliant in defense production after disruptions to the global supply chain due to the pandemic. Foreign direct investment in defense production has increased to 74% from 49%. And the government says it will promote made in India in that industry. That was one of the steps outlined by the country's finance minister after Prime Minister Modi announced a special economic package of more than $300 billion under its self-reliance campaign. Defense and strategic analysts based in the United States and India told the Epoch Times that India's pursuit of self-reliance is the right step in an emerging global and Asian regional order where India is facing a more aggressive China on its border on one side and Pakistan on the other. The country can take clues from countries like the United States, France, and Russia. Following a bloody skirmish with China in Gao Wen, India's defense ministry declared in August that the country would build a stronger domestic defense industry. An embargo on imports of more than 100 defense-related items may generate contracts worth an estimated $61 billion for India's domestic defense industry in the next five to seven years, according to a ministry statement. Former Lieutenant General Kamal Deval, the first Director General of India's Defense Intelligence Agency and the former Deputy Chief of the Integrated Defense Staff, told the Epoch Times that while India has an unenviable record of being the world's largest importer of arms, equipment, and platforms, it's time that the country pursues self-reliance. Made for India, made by India, and especially made in India, needs to be genuinely encouraged," Deva said. If India becomes a defense producer, it would give confidence to countries such as Vietnam and Latin American countries, who would know that there is an alternate supplier of defense equipment. Experts said India should take clues from other countries in developing sustained self-reliance in defense production and also in creating an environment that encourages innovation and a genius equally from within as well as outside. Ravi Batra, the chair of the U.S. National Advisory Council on South Asian Affairs since 2007, says that India should model its self-reliance in defense production on the United States. Batra served as the global counsel from 2018 to 2020 to Antonov, the Ukraine state-owned aircraft manufacturing and service company. He said that India should work to find the genius within the country and should also welcome external genius and then model itself to celebrate excellence and innovation the way the United States does. Batra told the Epoch Times, quote, India should have an immigration policy that rewards people, acknowledges them, celebrates them when they bring novel ideas, creative ideas that can make India leapfrog time and a generation." Unquote. India's quest for self-reliance in defense continues till today and is certainly going to continue further in future. It started with long debates by the luminaries in the Constituent Assembly, where the objective of self-efficiency in the defense sector was adopted by the members. The objective was pursued for right or wrong reasons through a state-owned mechanism, whereby private manufacturers were bought over by the government, and the new entities were created to cater to the needs of Indian forces. Self-efficiency was largely pursued through licensed production activities that brought home no technologies, but ended up making the defense public sector units more dependent on foreign supplies. During all those decades, the private sector was kept at a wide distance, which was once upon a time a major supplier, and it was reduced to a tiered subcontractor. 
even though formidable private supplies like L&T or Gojri supply critical components and subsistence to high-tech platforms, the private sector is by and large seen with suspicion and quite at a distance from a reasonable level playing field. The concept of self-reliance in defense started sometime in the early 1990s as a national economic reforms commencing from 1991 onward, which roughly denoted an attempt to produce military systems throughout indigenous means and improve them from self-efficiency model. Although self-reliance has not been defined thus far, the term is used frequently. An attempt is made here to define it as the ability of a state to independently design, develop, and manufacture military-grade equipment and services, preferably through indigenous means. India finally decided to open up its defense sector for private participation in 2002. Since then, more than a dozen committees have placed their recommendations. The defense procurement procedure has been revised 11 times. More than a dozen reform initiatives like offsets have been undertaken. Many of these recommendations were either not implemented or implemented with modifications. Traditional mindsets still continued to prevail with limited results. A paper published in the recent edition of the Raksha Anavada, an India quarterly publication on defense and aerospace issues, says India requires institutional reforms to achieve a big leap in defense self-reliance. India opened its defense arena to the private sector two decades ago with the aim of achieving self-reliance. However, it continues to be largely import-based and government-controlled. Despite a number of reforms being initiated in the recent past, the question still remains as to why the big leap in defense manufacturing seems a distant dream. Countries like the US, UK, and France that are leading in defense manufacturing have developed an inclusive culture of their governments working with the private sector. An ambience of mutual trust and frequent exchanges to identify and resolve emergent issues is necessary and needs to be institutionalized. Suggestions have been offered toward creating a defense finance mechanism along the lines of the Indian Railways Finance Corp that can raise money through bonds. By making the bonds redeemable over 10 years or so, the government could facilitate funding to the industry through its startup stage. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly.